God says, you can't let what others have done to you control how you treat others around you. Not everyone has bad intentions towards you. Not everyone wants to bring you down. Talk to me more, and I will help you discern the good and bad things in your life. I love you. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the air that I breathe, the food that I eat, and the shelter over my head. Lord, I pray that you will please watch over me and my loved ones today. Please give us wisdom so we can know how to handle every situation. Please guide us so that we can be closer to you. Help us to always run to you, not the world. Thank you for your unending love. In Jesus' name, we pray. If God has been good to you, respond with Amen. Heavenly Father, you know I struggle to trust you and wait upon your timing. So, remind me of what's true. When I'm tempted to rush ahead of your timeline, help me to wait upon you. When my soul is anxious, reassure me that there is no safer place to be than in great need of you. When I am trying to figure it all out, teach my heart to pray, not my will but yours be done. Help me to keep declaring these truths, training my heart to trust you even when it's not easy. Thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for revealing your beautiful heart and trustworthy character to me. I surrender my story to you. Amen. Trust in God. A common strategy of the devil is to fill you with insecurities and fear because he knows that, if successful, over time, you will lose sight of who you are and start doubting your calling. This distraction will inevitably cause you to stop moving and start hiding, so, from today, remember that you are loved by God, anointed, and called for a purpose. You are not here by accident. You have been set free for a reason. Be bold and courageous. God is on your side. It's never too late get back on track. You have an assignment, and this generation is waiting for you. Dear Lord, thank you for bestowing me your guidance and love. Please, show me how to live an honorable life. Show me how to love others like you have loved me. Show me how to honor and worship you with my life. Give me your wisdom. Teach me how to live, so that I might live for you. Thank you so much for choosing me in this evil world. I will try my best to be closer to you and testify to you. In Jesus' name, if you need God's guidance in your life, respond with Amen. Sometimes it's so hard waiting on God. But did you notice how beautiful the sky was today? Did you enjoy the moment when you couldn't stop laughing? Did you feel God's blessing when you ate that meal, had time to rest, and felt the warmth of the sun on your skin? God is still blessing us so much even while we wait. The truth is, the devil won't attack you while you're living in sin, he'll attack you when you're trying to get out of sin. That's because he knows once you know who you are in Christ you'll become a threat to him. This walk is real, never give up and never stop praying God is by your side. James for verses 7 to 10. God is saying to you today, so many blessings are about to come into your life because you believed for so long. You never gave up. You remained faithful. Your dedication, passion and patience helped you keep going. Keep trusting me. It's all about making sense. 
God removes people from your journey for a reason. Sometimes, they may not be meant to stay with you for the long run. It could be to protect you from harm or to guide you towards a better path. Trust in God's plan and know that every person entering or leaving your life has a purpose in shaping your journey. Romans 15 verse 4 For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. Amen. Remember this. Anytime God wants to take you to the next level you're going to be in war with the next devil. The enemy wants to keep you in the same hurt, mindset, same trauma so he will use whatever it takes to stop you from healing. Faith comes from hearing. Healing comes from faith. Amen. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. 1 John 4 verses 11 to 12. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Psalm 143 verse 8 God, please show me how to live an honorable life. Show me how to love others like you have loved me. Show me how to honor and worship you with my life. Give me your wisdom. Teach me how to live, so that I might live for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 20 verse 35 Psalm 19 verse 14 Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age. Tilda Titus 2 colon 11 12 If a person is supposed to be in your life then God will make a way for it to work out. No space or distance will be too great. If it's not God's will, something will feel off, the peace won't be there. The feeling of disconnect or unsettledness is confirmation that it's not meant to be. Don't ignore the signs that God is revealing to you. Philippians for verse 8. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. God doesn't take things away without giving you something better. God knows when something has served its purpose even if you can't see it or even if you're not ready. That friendship, job, relationship, the path you were on, etc. your wasted years will be given back to you. Since then, you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Colossians 3 verse 1. 
This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. Judge fairly, and show mercy and kindness to one another. Do not oppress widows, orphans, foreigners, and the poor. And do not scheme against each other. Zechariah 7 verses 9 to 10. Isaiah 53 verse 5. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Job 33 verses 14 to 16. I am giving you signs every day in your sleep in your conversations, in the clouds, in your notes. Pay attention to them and piece them together. You will notice a sign. I am always communicating with you. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3 verse 13 that dream was planted in your heart for a reason. Chase it. Trust God that he will guide you to achieve greatness in your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Now all glory to God, who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Less ego, more compassion. Less talk, more do. Less rude, more polite. Less fear, more hope. Colossians 3 verse 12.